Hello crafters, welcome to Create at Home with G and today's decorating video. So we're going to decorate at the top landing console table. Now this is the very top of our um, first floor. Um, we have my mother's bedroom and father's bedroom to the right. Behind me is the spare room door and in that direction is the bathroom, airing cupboard and my bedroom. Um, we haven't done the doors at the point that I record this video but they are being done this month in August. So the first thing I'm going to let, put on this console table is a table runner. Now the table runner was the inspiration for the colour theme to go on this um, console table. As you can see it's autumnal greens, browns, reds, oranges, mustards, that, that type of feel. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add two books. Now I just these are just two books that I got from Poundland because they have the green spine, but I'm going to have them facing that way. Okay, so I have the two books towards the back of the console on the right hand side, and atop that I'm going to put a lamp. Okay, so we have the lamp in place. Now the lamp, um, I have a grey lampshade which I have out for the rest of the year, but I swapped it out for this kind of mustard ochre colour because I think it goes really well with the runner. So let's add a few more items. To the left hand side I have added two um, candle stands. And to those candle stands, I've added two candle rings. And then on top of that, I've added two ceramic tea light holders, which are a rooster and a chicken in green. Okay, and in front of that, I've added a leaf plate in the green and the mustard yellow. Okay, to the right hand side by the lamp, I've added a retro vintage finger vase or finger vase and then a brass candle holder to the left hand side to the right hand side in front of the lamp i have added a large resin green bird now it's time for the finishing touches Okay, and then I've added some faux gourds and pumpkins. So let me just show you the um, surrounding area. Okay, on the mirrors, I have added a fan wreath that I made a few years ago. I'll link the video at the end. And I swapped out the spring and summer three piece artwork for this kind of rustic looking autumnal duck, pheasant and bunny. And then at the base I have some candle stands. I'll probably add a vase or something next to it so that's a three so that's three items. But let me take you in for a closer look. Thank you very much for joining me today crafters and you'll see me again very soon. Take care now. Bye bye.